Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I am so happy to welcome my friend Andrea Green. She is organizing a blood drive fundraiser for St. Jude on August 1st at Maury's Flooring. So this is a very personal cause to you, Andrea. It's been hard on your family. It's been a roller coaster. So tell us kind of a little bit about the fundraiser and then why you're doing it. Well, thank you for having us because we definitely want to get the awareness out there. So for during the month of August, we Maurice Flooring is partnering with uh, Shaw Flooring, um, and we are going to donate a portion of all of our hard surface and carpet proceeds to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, probably the biggest thing is we're kicking this event off um, on August 1st, which is Monday, um, with Community Blood. Center of the Ozarks. Um, we're going to host a blood drive from 10 to 4. If you can't donate blood, come and um, join us for lunch. We're going to grill out. Um, we're also going to have some presentations from our local Shaw reps. Um, so we'd love to have you guys there. So what the important yeah. thing is the money that you're raising is a percentage every square foot of yes. the flooring that you sell is going to back to St. Jude's. And it's a, it's a huge amount that's going to add up quickly. It is. We, we have our goals. Um, we hope to do this annually. So this is our first year of doing it. We hope it's a Extremely successful, and we can just do this every every year. Um. So, so now we have to get into why she's doing it. So, I, I met with her uh, last week because I, I've. I, I love her so much, and her daughter has an amazing story. So just prepare yourselves, guys. This is why she's doing it, and this is why it's so important to try to um, go on August 1st and let's help raise some money for St. Jude's. Tell us about Morgan. Yes, so um, July 2020th, Morgan was diagnosed with AML leukemia. Um, it's really news no parent ever wants to hear. You just don't know what to expect. Um, you're scared. Uh, we traveled down to Memphis, Tennessee, um, through the big gates at St. Jude. Um, it was the first time, you know, right after diagnosis that we actually felt like we had hope and a plan. Um, the staff, the nurses, the doctors there, uh, they truly become your family. I've never had an experience at any medical facility like St. Jude. Um, they take care of all of your family needs um, while you're there. I mean, they, they take care of housing, your food expenses. Um, they love your child. They, they give you hope again. Mm -hmm. So it's very personal. I get upset thinking about it because they truly are family every time we go there. Um, for checkups now, um, it's like coming back home or visiting family. So your story too, and they're here, we're looking at awesome photos of yeah. Morgan, who is, by the way, the b biggest fighter I've ever met. She is such a fighter. Yes. And she is determined and she is stubborn, like you said. <laughs> she is. Which we appreciate. So tell us kind of about, she got the leukemia, but then you kind of went through a roller coaster of, of things that happened after that. Yeah, so these kids, when they go through treatment, um, you know, chemotherapy or radiation, they just have, they live with no immune system. So um, during that time, she had no immune system. She actually got a rare bacteria called Rothia. Um, that bacteria actually led to meningitis, um, and she had a massive stroke on December uh, 20 or December 10th of 2020. Um, that stroke, we were um, told if she made it the next 24 to 48 hours, um, she would most likely be in a wheelchair, probably a vegetative state. Um, during that time, our community, uh, both here in Springfield and Marshfield, I mean, through prayers and just support, uh, prayed night and day. Um, that rainbow actually is uh, some of the pictures that they sent after after uh, those 24 to 48 hours. People were praying, and um, rainbows just lit up all over the town. I mean, it was just That's a amazing. It gives me goosebumps. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. So this that was some of her uh, uh, nursing staff on our leukemia floor, but. Um, you know, that's why we're so passionate about giving back. These kids with no immune system, they survive on, um, you know, donations of men and women, you know, giving blood and taking their time to go out and donate. Um, so Morgan would probably go through two to three transfusions a week over the course of, you know, seven months. Wow. So... Um, so she she overcame the stroke. Yes. She made it through the forty eight. Uh, she was para partially paralyzed on one side, of, and but she's determined, still yeah. still, <laughs> still paralyzed. Still, yeah. But she, tell her how determined she is and what she's overcome. Yeah. So Morgan is. Um, they don't know how or why, but Morgan is back playing softball. <laughs> That's what? amazing. Yeah. Um, <sighs> she, you know, she was able to go to prom this year. She uh, went through physical therapy. Also, um, occupational therapy. She's back working out. She's going to school. Um, That's so, incredible. Yes. She's incredible. defying doctors, which I love. And we're seeing yeah. some footage now of her, some footage you took at 
at the hospital and look at her. She, I mean, she's such a fighter to hear that she's paralyzed, but she's like, I'm getting my driver's license. Yes. I am going to do everything. Absolutely. Just shows the resilience that she has and the, the prayers work. Yes. St. Jude's works. I mean, it's just yes. amazing to me. Look, so is this her, some of her therapy? Yeah, so she actually had to learn to walk again. Um, she That was her just learning to sit up because they she lost so much of her muscle tone. Um, all of her muscles kind of atrophied, so she had to, you know, basically relearn. Plus, to add on, you know, she had so much damage in her brain. So, yeah, she had to learn to talk, walk. <laughs> and, and I don't want to get into too much of it, but she has to wear a helmet because they had to remove... Um, something from her skull. I mean, Correct. talk about just one thing after another, and her hair's going back now. Everything yes. is, g g you know, you have, she's a teenager, and you, you know, teenagers yeah. are so hard anyway. Yes. Putting this on top of it, yes. but she's such a fighter. Oh, she got her first haircut last month, so that was pretty exciting. <laughs> yes, she's she is. I would say the last couple weeks. Um, she started to regain her strength and definitely her confidence back. So, mm -hmm. um, but because of St. Jude, we're, we're here today. Um, you know, I have my daughter back and she can live the rest of her life. We can, we can think about her getting married and kids and, mm -hmm. and a future again. So, uh, so it's great. incredible. What, a, what an amazing story. It is an amazing how, story. How but, strong yeah. are you? Oh, and how, well, she is. She, I don't know how, yeah. I don't know how your family's done it. Cause there's been a lot of sacrifices made for everybody sure. in your family. But um, the event's coming up. This is why it's so important. You've seen, once you've seen this and you know the family, then that you want to give. Here's the event. Tell us about it one more time. August 1st. August 1st, we're going to kick off Monday. We'd love to have everybody out. If you can't donate blood, come and eat with us. Um, meet our staff, um, our owners. Uh, we're also going to have live presentations. So if you don't want flooring right now, but may want it in the future, we're going to have some great product presentations as well. And remember, uh, a, a lot of the, the the proceeds, a percentage of that, is going back to St. Jude's, which is important. And I've right. bought a lot of flooring in my life. Yes. And I know how have. much that can go. <laughs> yes. So it's very important. So that's August 1st at Maury's Flooring, the Blood Drive. Please go and visit them and give if you can, because it's affecting families, not just here in Springfield yes. and Marshfield, but all over the country. Right, absolutely. Andrew, thank you so much. Thanks for having thank you. And we'll see you Monday. Yes, sounds great. Thank, thank you. you. All right, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after. This. And would you give Morgan a hug for us? Oh, absolutely. Please. She loves hugs.